Welcome to the first episode of Your Creative Life. In this series, I'm going to be diving really deep into helping you live your most creative life. Now, this kind of started when I had a student that said, well, I'm just not really creative. And observing what she was doing, I realized that it wasn't that she wasn't creative, that there were just barriers for her. Uh, there were things stuck in her head that made her believe that she wasn't creative. If you're a human being, you're creative. It's a, it's a huge part of who we are. That's why we can adapt to different situations because we are a creative uh, entity. We, all of us, all of us. Some of us might be have a brighter light of creativity than others, but the reality is that most of us are, are working at a very small percentage of our ability to be creative. Now there's a lot of ways that you can help with your creativity. There's some quick fix things that'll give you a little boost. Um, there's exercises that you can learn to do that will, will exercise your brain and make you more creative. And, and this is the big one, this is the one that will allow you, allow all the other things to really uh, pump up your creativity. And that is removing the barriers to your creativity. So let me get some stuff and I'll, I'll explain to you what I'm talking about. Now, this is the halogen film light. It's a, it's a Mole Richard 650. Striking. The light of your creativity is bright. Look how bright it is. This is how we start our lives off uh, as creative beings. We're full of wonder. We are exploring the world. Everything is new and fresh and amazing to us. And, and this is, this is how our brains work. We have this creativity that's just inherent. It's part of who we are as human beings. But then these little barriers pop up. Here's a little barrier right here. This barrier is your parents saying, oh, you should stop having your head in the clouds. Stop having your head in the clouds. It should be practical, right? It should be practical. It doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. It just, it's just a little barrier, you know, has a little bit of effect. And then you have a teacher. You have a teacher that says some silly joke, they think they're being cute. And you drew a picture and when the teacher sees it, they like say something like, oh, at least you're good at math. Another barrier pops up. A lot of these barriers in themselves don't seem to be that big of a deal, but they can grow to be that way. When when you share your creativity, creativity is a part of you that's that's really deep within you. It's a it's a part of your soul. It is a part of you that is it, it shows the world a little bit about who you are deep inside in the vulnerable place. That's where the best version of our creativity comes from. And just like when you put your heart out there and you love something or someone and you get your heart broken, your creativity goes away again. And this could be, this could be somebody looking at your artwork and thinking, oh, well, that's, that's not very good. Uh, just little, little remarks can have 
a big effect. They can have a huge effect on who you are. In our whole lives, we keep adding these barriers. And then we start thinking ourselves. It's like, well, I'm, I'm not a very creative person. We create stories ourselves. And these stories go on the list of things that are barriers to us creating. Now our light of creativity just keeps getting dim more and more each day. Every time a barrier pops up, a barrier between you being willing to expose yourself to ridicule or uh, say you're making YouTube videos and someone says, oh man, your videos are terrible. You suck. I hope you die or some crazy thing like that. All those little things can become more barriers. More barriers to your creativity. Does this seem very healthy? Does this seem like a healthy way to be our fullest selves? Does this, is this a way for us to live? We're protecting ourselves by putting these barriers there. We are keeping the world at bay. We are keeping them at a, at a distance so they don't break our creative hearts. These stories just build and build and build. Now this isn't, this isn't something that we can't remove. These are just gels. These are just stories that we allow ourselves to believe. This is a big one. This is, I'm just not creative. All those stories that went into your mind and, and made you believe. You, when you get to the point where you simply don't try to be creative anymore because you've been so ingrained by the people around you, and especially the people that love you, they're probably just trying to protect you. They're, 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 you they have their own little stories that are floating around in their head, their own little problems and they're trying to protect you from being hurt when you share who you are, when you share part of yourself, when you share your creativity. These barriers are what the series is about. It's about removing these barriers and we're gonna talk about a lot of the things that are blocking this light right here. And then we're going to also talk about some of the exercises that you can do to make that light brighter, to cut through those barriers that you can't quite shake off right away. But as you go through these exercises and learn a little bit more about yourself and creativity and how your brain works and what it needs to uh, be creative, uh, you, it will come a long way we will start stripping these away and you'll no longer think that you're not creative and you will look like you're full of bright, bright ideas. To me, this is a hugely important aspect of being human. And yes, this channel is about content creation and what I'm talking about is to help content creators. Um, but creativity can, can bless your life in so many ways. Um, the world has lots of problems. It always has things that could be better. And it's the ingenuity of human beings, our creativity, our ability to see a problem and bring different aspects together, to bring solutions that that have synergy, that, that help on both sides. That creativity is really needed today. And especially if you're a millennial or one of these, one of these young people today, we have lots of tools to help you uh, create stuff. But we've also made lots of things that hamper our brains 
it is sad how much stuff has been dumped on you as a young person uh, uh, and that keeps you from being and thinking that you are creative. I guarantee you that you are and we're gonna just strip those things away. I'm really excited for this series. I truly do love you all and I hope to continue this conversation in the comments. Bye.